Hey everyone, we're going to solve the system of equations by graphing. And there, um, uh, we have a parabola here. This is just your parent function for the quadratic function. And we have a line. So let's graph it and be as exact as we can. So for the first one, um, you can use a table of values. I know one uh, maps to one and negative one maps to one. Two, when you plug in two, you go to four. One, two, three, four. So it's symmetric here. And three goes to nine. So three maps to nine. And so I'm just going to go over three here. So I'm going to graph this as best as I can on this. It equals it, so it's a solid line. I'm going to draw a dashed line first, go through these points, because I want to be as exact as possible when graphing. So there's my arrows. Now I'm going to go through and make it more solid. All right. So that's the first equation. The second one's going to be a little easier. Uh, that's linear. My y-intercept is 2. And my slope is negative 1. So uh, we can go up 1, over 1. For, I'm going from my y-intercept and going up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. Okay, so this is negative slope. We can go down 1, over 1. So there's one right there. So it looks like these are our two solutions. So let me draw the graph. So I'm going to go this way. Always draw a dash first. And now I'm going to make it a little more solid. So that's how you would do it. You have to be very exact. And so the solutions would be, um, this is negative 2. So this, this one right here is negative 2, comma, 4. And this one right here, this is at 1. So this is 1, comma, 1. This point here is 1. So those are your two solutions. This looks like a 9. So this is a 4. This is your solution. And this is your solution. Also, uh, did a little better here. <coughs> uh, that you can get from the calculator. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>